Hey guys and welcome back to Tech Genie. Today we're bringing you a short video showing you how to speed up that slow Apple laptop that you've got. Okay, so before we jump straight into the video, you guys might remember a guy called Tech Trigger. He's opened up a new channel with his friend called Tech Impulse. They're doing lots of tech videos over there as well. So if you guys are interested, go ahead, definitely subscribe, watch some of his videos and show some support. The link will be down below in the description. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into today's video. So I'm here to show you the best ways to hopefully speed up your laptop. Some of them are simple and you probably know them already, but if you've forgotten them, it's just some good advice in terms of how to speed up your laptop. Okay, so jumping straight in, I'm going to tell you guys that you need to be clearing up your desktop. If you've got loads and loads of files on there that you don't necessarily need, delete them off the desktop because you're taking up so much space on your laptop that is inevitably going to slow it down. Okay, then the second thing that kind of links in with the clearing the desktop, you really need to make sure that your trash is clean. So it's quite simple, just go down to trash, click empty trash and then confirm that you want to empty the whole trash. It's going to delete every single file in this and the differences that you can see from clearing your trash is quite incredible. So just go ahead and check if your trash hasn't been cleaned in a while, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, then the next thing is you'll probably want to go into Disk Utility, open it up and you're going to get a whole display telling you what is on your Macintosh HD, what's filling up the storage. So it's going to tell you how much storage you've got. So in this one we've got about 500 gigabytes internal storage. A good thing you're going to want to keep in mind here is probably in the region of about 10% of your total storage, so in our case about 50 gigabytes or more, over 10% basically you're going to want to keep free on your storage on your device. Okay, the next one I'm going to tell you guys about, if you go into system preferences, you click down on users and groups, then you click on your login and you go ahead and you click on login items, it's going to give you a list of a few of the things that should be opening up every single time you log in. Now if you don't want them opening up, just go ahead, click on the item and click the remove the selected item from the list, that's the minus button at the bottom, go ahead, delete them all from it and then hopefully that should stop your laptop from opening these files up or these apps up as soon as you log in to your login. Now the next one is kind of self-explanatory and you probably know about it already. Go ahead and force quit some of your applications. This is quite simple. Head up into the top left corner of your screen, click the Apple icon, scroll down to force quit, select the app you want to delete or you want to force quit and click force quit, confirm it and make sure you do that kind of periodically going through and closing these apps that you're not using. Okay, now last but not least, go ahead and clear some caches. Open up Finder, go up to the toolbar and you're going to want to click on go. Scroll down and you should see computer. The little icon there and while pressing down the alt key you should see a new folder pop up saying library. While holding down the alt key tap on library and click on it and hopefully open up a load of new folders. Once you've opened up that you should see a bunch of new folders in there but you want to be focusing on the one called caches. Open up that folder and make sure you're inside caches at this point. Double check you're inside caches because this is really important this step. Now what you're going to want to do is scroll down, look at all of it. Now go ahead and what you're going to want to do is select all of these items, all these folders and drag them into trash or click control click and then move them to trash. Okay, so there were six good tips for you guys in terms of speeding up your laptop. Some of them, as I said, are kind of self-explanatory like quitting apps, cleaning the desktop and emptying trash. But one or two of them are kind of more hidden features or things that you may not necessarily have known about. But either way, make sure you keep up to date with these things and your laptop should be running much smoother and a lot quicker throughout the period of use when you're using it for however many years. So that's it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications, go ahead and follow us on all of our social media platforms, the links will be of course down below in the description. But that's all from us today guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, live long and prosper.